All right. Freestyle snowmobiling. After I graduated from university, I moved out to Utah. And you know, one of the things you gotta do in a new place is, is you gotta try out all the fun stuff. And one of the fun things that I discovered in the mountains uh, between the Wasatch and the UNM mountains was you could go up there and you could rent a snowmobile. And the, the first time I went up, um, not, nothing too crazy. I, I had a, you know, a near miss with my leg and stuff like that, but overall it was just a blast. Blazing across the, you know, the valleys and stuff like that, 50, 60 miles an hour on a snowmobile was a lot of fun. And so I thought this would be great to uh, you know, invite Uncle Spud up. And so the next time Uncle Spud came to visit me in Utah, uh, we, we hopped in and we went up to go do some snowmobiling. Well, we get up there and keep in mind, this is only my second time snowmobiling and his first. And so we're blazing across the valley, having a great time. And as we get to this one junction, it wasn't even a junction, it was just a wide open plain. I kind of realized I wasn't exactly sure where we were. And so I just kind of um, decided I was gonna stand up and just kind of take a look around and, and su survey the area. And so I just let off, the, let off the gas. And as I let off the gas, bam! Uncle Spud ran me over with the snowmobile. <laughs> 55 miles an hour, he just piles into me. I go bouncing off the front of his sled, hit his windshield, just, you know, somersaulting through the air, and wham! Face first into the snow, back first in the snow, it doesn't matter. I was laying in the snow, trying to figure out what the heck it just hit me. And as I'm trying to process all this in my mind, I just, you know, there's the, there's the usual banter that's going to start here. And like, dude, are you all right? <laughs> like, I don't know, <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> and then just laughing. He just starts laughing <laughs> because he had just run me over with the snowmobile at 55 miles an hour. And then the reverse psychology starts. Somehow, as I'm laying there in the snow, trying to figure out, you know, if I was hurt or not, you know, are you sure you're all right? I don't know. And then just, it, somehow it was my fault. It was my fault that he had just run me over with a snowmobile and to a certain extent he's not totally wrong but it was I mean he's the one who hit me and that's the way the story is gonna go forever but <laughs> um, I, I, I figured out I was okay uh, you know I I limped my way back to my snowmobile got back on it and as we're yelling back and forth at each other for him running me over with a snowmobile uh, I, I, I walk away with two pro tips for, for snowmobiling, especially if it's your first time or even your second time, it doesn't matter. Um, one, snowmobiles kick off, if you don't have the powder guard in the back, they kick off a, a pretty big uh, plume of just white dust. And so the person who's following you, if they're following too closely, they can't really see much. It just looks like whiteout conditions, all right? And so what we figured out had happened is when I stood up to survey the area, I let go of the gas. Snowmobiles slow down faster than motorcycles do or cars or anything on wheels, for example. It's almost instant, especially depending on the kind of snow you're in. And so what happened was when I stood up and let off the gas, he had no indication that I was stopping. And so he just piled right into me. Now, because of that, my pro tip is, you know, either maybe don't follow so closely well actually first pro tip don't run your brother over all right that's the first one then also maybe don't follow too closely and then also if you're in the lead uh you probably want to pump the brake light a little bit or wave your arms or something to let the person who's following too closely behind you to let you know that let them know that you're slowing down and then my second or third or fifth depending on how you're counting pro tip is get the insurance but mostly, just don't get run over by your by your brother on a, by a snowmobile. Um, and so, if you ever hear me say it could be worse, you could have been run over by a snowmobile. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs>